I just watched uh, Casino Royale for the first time. Not, not the original one by Woody Allen, but uh, the, the recent one. Blonde Bond that was great. Is that great? Anyway, um, I thought it was a pretty good flick. Unfortunately, the DVD wouldn't play on my, uh, on my DVD player. Why would it not play? Well, I, I, I looked at two situation after running the DVD and found out that Sony, after getting sued over putting digital rights management software on their uh, CDs, on audio CDs, has decided that they're going to put digital rights management software on their DVDs. Alright, let's look at what digital rights management software is. In its basic form, it's something that prevents you from being able to illegally copy a DVD that's the basic idea. In practice, however, it ends up being a virus which prevents your computer from operating to its full capacity. And it pisses me off when I see this digital rights management software, DRM, on CDs and on DVDs. Because number one, I know how to get through just about any of them. All right, I haven't found one yet that I haven't been able to break through. Number two, it is a virus. Okay, just because it's manufactured by a business doesn't mean it's not a virus. And number three, if you want us to stop stealing all this crap, stop selling it for a lot more than what we really want to pay for it. You know, I've been to one movie in the last three months in the theaters. Why? Because it's ten dollars a goddamn film. Ten dollars a person. So what, do I, what am I doing? I'm going and getting a freaking DVD six months to a year later. Actually, I only have to wait about six weeks most of the time. Most movies are out on DVD six weeks after they leave the theater, so you figure they run for six weeks. Okay, i got to wait about three months after their release date. And it's on DVD. Why should I pay $10 now for me and $10 for my date when I can spend $14 at Walmart three months later or $19 at Walmart three months later and enjoy it for the rest of eternity on my widescreen TV. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense, people. So, and yeah, part of it is that they have these incredibly overinflated salaries for the actors and incredibly overinflated budgets for the films. And yeah, they got paid for that, I understand that. But when a movie costs $20 million to make and it makes $80 million, grosses at the box office. They were obviously charging too much money for that film. I'm not paying. And I'm not paying for Sony DVDs anymore. I'm taking this one back. Yeah, I watched it on my computer after beating the DRM software. Um, but I'm taking it back because I can't play it on my DVD player on my television. Because it's a generic product and doesn't have the ability to read the DVD, DRM uh, code therefore won't play it. So it's going back. I'm taking it back. I spent uh, 20 bucks or no, it wasn't that much. It was like uh, $14. Screw DRM. Screw Sony. Screw them all. Fuck them all. That's all I gotta say. See you later. You like the way that sounds?